Hello and welcome on Watches TV and we are by Jacob and Co with our friend Bachman and we'll talk about a new piece which has a little more of a traditional feel to it compared to some of the pieces that we are aware of but has also a little family meaning to it right very right so inspired by the first time piece uh, Jacob received uh, from his father when he was 13 we we redesigned this watch a dual time from our new collection the world is yours um, a dual time um, time machine where you can uh, really adjust uh, the two time zones independently with only one crown. So we developed a new module which is sitting on an automatic movement with a central second uh, indicating with um, windrows. All right. In terms of uh, some of the design uh, characteristics, uh, can you explain us a little bit more? Well, the goal was first to, ha to have a watch which we can say it's becomes an everyday watch, a traveler's watch. So it needed to have a certain um, uh, size to be able to display the world map, but not too thick, of course, that it is it goes also slips easily maybe under the shirt while you are traveling. Maybe you're traveling places where you don't want to show your watch. And we, don't, we know how the world is, is, is today. And uh, yeah, that was the main goal, to have it a classic look because uh, well, you see, these are fields we are also discovering, and there's a lot to discover. And one is this classic look watches, uh, which we, which we, I think, achieved very well. All right, and uh, you have a gold engraving of the continents. Uh, tell us a bit more about that. Yeah, this was the biggest challenge actually on this watch to first place the continents and nicely that uh, we can display as much as possible the um, countries on the front side. Then also to find a technique which this, which has really the high details of the mountains, of the different islands which uh, which are on this planet, but in a technique that is not too much, too high artistic, that the price would raise too much, and to have also a continuously same quality in the whole production line. So it's a stamped um, um, dial um, into the brass and then gold plated and hand painted. But it is uh, domed. Yeah, it's very, uh, we, the maximum we could do to dome it, that the watch also do doesn't become too thick. So it's a domed uh, main dial, and then the sub dials are sitting on the seas. Uh, fortunately, the Atlantic Ocean is big enough to, to put the dials on. And uh, um, you were mentioning that you have on this uh, model, uh, you have the America and uh, Europe. On the backside, you yeah. have uh, Asia. Yeah, so we wanted to display the whole world. So on the front side, we have the American continents, Africa and Europe. And on the back side, the missing continents, such as uh, Asia and Australia. So nobody <laughs> feels uh, left behind. Yeah. <laughs> so going down the, a little bit more this uh, classical route, is it something that you're going to pursue? Yeah, we, we, as you remember, maybe the Jean Bugatti was a little start of that. And then also the Casino Tourbillon followed this, this direction. And you see now with the dual time, we are on this track, but we're not stopping uh, the crazy pieces, <laughs> the new developments, the new complications. So it's an in parallel, right? All right. Well, thank you very much for your time and uh, you. all the best to you. See you as well. Bye, guys. Bye.